What's up everybody? Will here from St. Augustine Kayak Fishing. Uh, today I'm up here at St. Augustine Paddle Sports in the bait room. Uh, we're going to show you how to take a blue crab and turn it into some crab knuckles for sheep's head fishing. Uh, you know, this is a live blue crab. We're going to use a live. You can use live or dead. Uh, this one here, we pulled one out of the tank that only had one claw because uh, we're going to have to disarm it. And it's just easier to, you know, demonstration purposes to have one claw. But, um, this is how you uh, this is how you get your crab knuckles for sheep's head whenever the uh, the bite or the uh, fiddler crab is hard to find. All right, everybody. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is to disarm the blue crab. So go ahead and break its claw off here. And we'll set that aside. We're going to use that for chum a little bit later. Next step be to trim his legs. Again, save these for chum. You're gonna, you want to leave some of the knuckle. You, know, you want to leave some of the knuckle here. All right, we're gonna set those aside. Next stage you want to do is you want to crack his back, get this top shell off. So go ahead and get him cracked across the back, peel this top shell. To where you're down to you know, just his body, there's no shell. The only shell is on the bottom here. Got your knuckles, the bottom shell, and then meat. So you're gonna take your shears, and these are landscape shears I got at Home Depot, I think. Just cut right down the center. All right, got two pieces there. All right, this is a smaller crab, so these are your knuckles, one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna just cut right in the center here. Two and two. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here, on this one. This one here, I'm going to cut right down the center as well. Alright, so then you got your knuckles here. Got a 2 octopus hook. And what you're going to do is you're going to run this hook, you know, pick out, choose a knuckle. That's, they both seem to be in pretty good shape. You want to make sure they're not broken uh, before you run your hook through. But you're going to run your hook right through the, down the center of the knuckle, which is a soft meat. And then just rotate the hook and have it come back up the bottom of the knuckle. And that's got cartilage holding it together and it'll rotate, but it's, it's a solid hook point. And uh, you're ready to sheep's head fish. You just tie this off to your line. Obviously, you'll have this tied to your line before you put your crab on it. Um, and then just drop that down along the pylon. And then whenever you're, uh, you know, you probably want to prep this at home. It would be easier to prep it at the house than it, it would be to do it out on the uh, water. But if you do it out on the water, live or dead blue crab works. Um, then what I do with these, these leftover shells, is I just crush up the claw, especially the claw meat. The claw meat, you know, it's got the most leftover meat in it. Just crush it up here, crush up some of this shell. It's got a little bit of meat left in it too, some of these legs. Then you just take this and put it in a bag or a bucket or whatever and take with you that you can chum up the water whenever you get there. Um, get them fired up on the blue crab bite and then drop down the actual meaty part of the blue crab to them and it doesn't take long and you'll have a fish on. This will come in awful handy whenever the fiddler crabs are hard to find and um, you're having to, you know the winter time whenever it gets real cold fiddler crabs bury themselves and they're either got to go dig them or wait till a 72 degree day and they'll come out. In the meantime this is a great option. So I think paddle sports always has blue crab in stock uh, you can do live or dead. Live is, you know, a little, it's a little less stinky and probably a little bit tougher meat, but uh, frozen works just fine too. Um, this is a great alternative bait for sheep's head whenever the fiddler crab are uh, buried up. So I uh, hope, this, hope this helped you. I uh, hope you can uh, catch a few fish on this. And if you do, let me know. Uh, I want to see some fish on some, uh, on some crab knuckles. Uh, send them to me on Facebook or uh, through uh, you know uh, Messenger or Instagram, and uh, let's see what we can do. I want to see some big fish. So uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys can get out there and use some crab knuckles this winter.